everyone. We are here for IELTS listening test tips and essential points. Let's see what we have today. Let's talk about the listening test of IELTS examination. Every student takes the same test globally. Academic test and general test. These are the two different parts of the IELTS examination. Both of the examinations have same test of listening with same questions, same format, same scoring. It is exactly the same for everyone. Let's look at the content of the listening test. There are four parts and there are 40 questions in total. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 and Part 4. The first two parts are the easiest and they are social, everyday situation and the last two parts are more difficult. They are academic in content. Part 1 has two speakers. It is a social situation. For example, it is a phone conversation. Somebody is registering for a course for an example, they need to book a course, they need dates, they need your name, they need your address, their telephone number or perhaps booking a restaurant table or organizing to meet someone and you need to think of the time to meet a very specific information and it is quite easy and it is quite easy to improve that part. The next one is number two. Part two is also social. So everyday situation but is only one speaker a typical example would be a tour guide so that it would be a tour guide explaining about resort what facility there are or the history behind the resort Another example could be, for example, talking about historical buildings or talking about a charity, a company or an organization. Part 3. The academic. The first academic part has three to four speakers. It's challenging as it is a discussion, an academic discussion. When you got three to four speakers, that means you have got three to four different voices and you have to be able to identify who is speaking and who is saying what. So that could be challenging. But the most difficult is part 4. There is only one speaker and is an academic lecture. At the end of the 30 minutes, you are given another 10 minutes. And that is so that you can transfer the answers from the question paper which is where 
you write answers when you listening to the answer sheet. You really must download the answer sheet for practice before you appear for your IELTS test. It is very imperative to go through such practices, and that includes spending ten minutes transferring your answers from the question paper onto your downloaded answer sheets to write your answer clearly, so that can be easily written to the answer sheet. Moving on to the next tip, you will hear a recording only once, which is not played again. So that means when you have your test, you need to listen to the recording, read the questions, and the same time write down your answers. So that means at one time you are listening, reading, and writing. So you are really are multitasking during this listening test. It can be quite difficult and something you need to practice regularly. Many students get confused if they need to use pen or pencil. You need to write your answers onto the answer sheet using a pencil. And that's the same for the IELTS reading test. The scores are calculated by the numbers of the correct answers. You have 40 questions, so have 40 points, and each time you get a correct answer, get a point, and that is how your band scores are calculated. Move on to the next tip. You can write your answers in capital letters or lowercase. You can choose but which one you ever choose, stay with that choice. If you decide to use capital letters, all your answers must be written in capital letters. You cannot change suddenly on your answer sheet. Or if you choose lowercase, you must make sure that all your answers are written with lower case on your answer sheet. Now capital letters mean every single letter written as a capital. There is no difference at all. But if you are using lower case, you need to remember that some words start with a capital letter. For example, names, places will start with capital letter. So make sure if you do decide to use lowercase. So remember your capital letters at the start of your answers for names and places. Look at your question paper. It will always tell you how many words you need for the answer. It will give you a rule. For example, no more than two words and or a number. These instructions you have got to pay attention every time. You get a new type of question that might change. So that means 
you always look how many words can I have for these answers and when I move further down the page how many words have changed underline it quickly so that you don't forget number of students get confused about what it means so let me explain no more than two words that means you cannot have three no more than two words and or a number so that means you can have two words and a number or you can have just a number so let's have a look at the example engineers you can have one word b local engineer you can have two words c 40 local engineers you can have two words and a number d 40 just a number now be very careful with the instructions you can see here it says a number sometimes it says and are numbers and if that is plural then you might have two numbers so make sure you pay attention to the instructions very closely to understand before appearing for your IELTS listening test. Please do subscribe and like the video. And do let me know in the comment section if you have any query about listening test. And for those who have completed their practice test of listening please do mention your band score in the comment section down below thank you so much once again please do subscribe mr facts